Yo, what's up guys, Jack here, and today we're taking a look at probably the most hated and loved weapon in a video game for a very long time, the DL-44 in Star Wars Battlefront. There are some really good weapons in Battlefront. My personal favourite is the E-11, but arguably the best weapon right now, or dare I say the most overpowered weapon right now, is the DL-44. The DL-44 is a pistol made famous by none other than Han Solo, of course, and if you bought the deluxe version of the game, the DL-44 is unlocked automatically for you as soon as you load the game. You don't have to grind to get it, and as a close-range weapon, it's an absolute monster. I'd say that in a close-range situation, there isn't really any other weapon I would rather have other than the CA-87, which is a Jawa blaster and essentially the shotgun of Star Wars Battlefront. Even at medium range, the DL-44 is still pretty damn good, especially if you've got good aim and you can predict your enemy's movements and go for those headshots. At long range, the damage does drop off a fair amount, but by using your zoom, you can still cause a lot of problems for your enemy at range, but the strengths are certainly in close to mid-range and in that area, I don't think anything in the game at the moment can compete with it. There are rumours that the DL-44 was nerfed when the Jakku patch released a couple of days ago, but having used it since then, I think it plays and feels exactly the same. But we've got to wait and see if there's going to be like an official patch note to come out for the game, and then we'll know for sure. So the maximum damage of the DL-44 blaster is 50. So at closer ranges, say under 20 meters, it's gonna kill you in two shots. And that isn't even accounting for a headshot. So if you hit someone smack bang in the noggin at close range, you're gonna drop them like a sack of potatoes. At longer ranges, the damage is gonna drop off, of course, to around 19 a shot, which can still kill enemies if they're already a little bit damaged. It's not just the damage that the weapon's got going for it either. Despite not being an automatic weapon, it can actually be fired pretty fast. Tap that fire button and while it is single shot, it isn't as slow firing as you might think, which is very useful at close range because in a panic, you can just keep firing in the general direction of a player, jumping up and down, strafing left and right, because as we know, that doesn't affect your accuracy, recall or spread at all in Star Wars Battlefront. And if you manage to get two shots to hit your opponent, you're gonna kill them. Of course, it's a lot of fun to use because you can easily take down multiple enemies around you with ease. And in fact, in certain game modes like Blast, Drop Zone, Cargo, it's a gun that you're gonna come across a lot, you're gonna kill a lot of people with it, and you're gonna get killed by it a lot. It's the M16A3 of Star Wars Battlefront, put it that way. On larger modes, such as Walker Assault and Supremacy, you won't see it as much, but people will still use it and head to the indoor areas where it's gonna be effective, and obviously that's the right move there. You need to be using this weapon to its strength, so that's short to mid range, and whilst outdoors, you might see a lot of blaster rifles and heavy weapons, such as the DLT-19, the DL-44 is still competitive there, and it's gonna hold down indoor close range areas with ease. Overall, I think the weapon needs to be pretty good because, well, it's Han Solo's blaster, so it can't be bad, can it? But I do think that maybe it needs to fire a bit slower just to reduce its effectiveness ever so slightly. As well, did you know that it's actually the second most powerful weapon in the game behind the Scout Pistol? And that's a star card on a cooldown. That just goes to show how strong this blaster actually is. It's, it's great that it's a powerful weapon, but I think right now it's a bit too strong in most situations. Like I said, I think a slow rate of fire will mean it keeps its devastating effectiveness, but it just can't be fired as fast and you're going to have to pick your shots a bit more. The other option, of course, would be to just reduce the maximum damage from 50 to, say, 40 or 45, so that two shots will still leave an enemy on really low health, but it will take three shots in total to kill an enemy from 100% health. Now, if you combine the DL-44 with explosive shot, for example, you can imagine how devastating it can be and just how much awesomeness can be achieved. You can just go to town with this blaster. Maybe, though, you would rather it was left how it is. What do you guys think? Are you using the DL-44 to great effect and you don't want it to change? Or are you the one trying out all the other weapons and you're getting fed up of being killed by it in what feels like an instant? To me, certainly sometimes it feels like if I'm not using the DL-44, 
and a lot of players on the other team are, I'm just at a big disadvantage. So obviously at the moment, it's the go-to blaster that everyone wants to use. Also, I think that's accelerated by the fact that if you've got the digital deluxe version of the game, you can just unlock it straight away. So you've got all these new players running around with this absolutely devastating blaster pistol and that's going to really annoy some people. I guess there's going to be some differing opinions on it, but even as someone who uses it and I like to use it, I can see that maybe it is just a little bit too overpowered. There it is, I said it. DL44 is OP. As always, thank you for watching guys. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Are you a DL44 lover or a DL44 hater? Let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, thumbs down if you didn't, and I'll see you in the next one.